Good morning from the ranch. It is Monday, January 17th. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And uh, day we celebrate uh, what he did for our country, which is really good. You know, the civil rights movement, uh, desegregation in a peaceful manner, by the way. I can always admire a man of peace. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. I don't want to get political today. But anyway, we got roots in a bucket. So we need to go dump them and go pick up more roots today. Also, I need to put some air in that tire on that on the uh, over there. Yeah, that tire right there looks a little bit low. So I gotta get the compressor going. And there goes my little thingy. But the wind's not blowing today. I might need to go get my gun. The coyotes are close. What the hell is going on over here? I had a big frog over here and it's that cat. It sounds like a frog. But there's a bunch of coyotes over there too though. Um, okay. Uh, that cat don't belong to me by the way. It's just a tomcat that's coming right here. Making all the baby cattens around here. Anybody wants a Tomcat, please let me know. You can have them. But anyway, so uh, yeah, we get air in there. We got to get a uh, bunch of fur coyotes. They're, they're, their sound was so close, they got to be right over here along our fence line or something. Um, so we're going to dump roots. Get some, we're going to get some air in the tire, dump some roots, go pick up more roots. And uh, then later today, when we, get all, when we get the rest of the roots picked up, we're going to steal a little bit. A little bit of dew over here, so uh, we're gonna drag the. Uh, I'm gonna hook up to the disc, and we're gonna pull it out because I need to get this gang off right here. <clears throat> Welcome back. It's still January 17th, Monday, and uh, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon, and. Uh, so we're over here, I'm gonna show you the disc here in a minute what we're doing there, but you know, right now in our county, Navarro County, Texas, USA, uh, we're under a burn ban, okay? And so I count several fires around me today. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see these or not. There's one right above that house over there. Yeah, right on the other side of that house. It's been burning most of the day. No fire department or nothing coming out yet. I guess nobody's called it in, but yeah, it's been over there burning. I don't, I, I don't know what the definition of a burn ban is, but anyway, there's a big one over here, the grass fire over here, and I don't know if you can see it, but it's all that white smoke over there is a grass fire, and that one just started. So yeah, I don't think people understand the definition of a burn ban, but anyway, so I don't got my mic on right now because I'm going to get here and get, get, get some work done, and I think it falling off and everything, but uh, we'll figure that out later. Yeah, I don't want to mess it up in here anyway. So we're working on this disc. So we got to take this gang off. This is the bad gang. So I pulled it out, right? It was over there before in the grass. You can see, you know, there's disc, disc all broke off and and uh, missing and all kinds of problems in this thing, right? You can see there's one right there. That one's broke. There's one down there missing. And I think this is either this barren or that other barren that's out. So... Uh, what I did is I brought the tractor over here with the uh, pallet fork and the pallet fork straps to hold this up. I'm going to undo these four uh, yeah, four U-boats. And uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to stick this guy on. I don't forget it today. Um, the thing is, I do like the mud scrapers on that one better. But I'm missing one. So I think for now I might leave, I might leave these on. This mud scraper do on is this easy and then maybe 
we're going to take this one off this much great we're going to take it off too and I, what i'll do is i'm missing two axes one there too that one and that one i'm missing so if i can find them they're probably out here i think they were on there before so they're probably out here in the pasture somewhere where i did that last last winter if i find them or if i'm if i don't i'll make some then we'll put those on they're a little bit better uh, actually a lot better we look at them they're heavier that one's loose too so i was about to lose it um but yeah so you know we'll we'll change it back out later if we need to but we got some work to do on this one first we see there that's a half disc half disc half dirt right now there's got a quarter of a disc i think and that one has no disc now what we're gonna do is when we pull this off we're gonna start taking it apart eventually we'll take one of these good discs off and we'll put it back here on the back where i got a bad disc it's missing and that might hold those for a while and that one over there is missing a disc completely i just don't know if i want to take the whole thing apart to get to it right now we'll see maybe and i think the other thing we're going to do hopefully y'all can hear me there's a lot of wind coming up all of a sudden right in time to push that grass fire all over the place and i think what we're going to do after that and i think i'm going to call back over to the equipment place and go ahead and get the, another disc another gang and drop this one off and probably sell it because these are 20 inch and i don't want to go buy all new disc i think those are 17s or, or 18s on the i think they're 18s on the other one i just bought and so i'm gonna put those on i think i'm gonna go get another gang from them they don't have another front one with a coulter disc they got you know smooth disc they can go ahead and buy it and drop this one off and put the other one on that way I have a good match and set all the way around that way this thing will disc smooth and not be up in the air one side or or whatever right so we're gonna do that hopefully y'all can hear me like i said uh, yeah shows shows you're hearing me because i got the uh, meter on there the voice meter i'm trying to stay close to it so but uh yeah we'll get this one off right now i'm gonna go find some wd-40 and uh spray on there real quick and then we'll get the uh, impact out and uh, zip off uh there's four u-boats and we'll go ahead and drop this thing down and get it on the ground then we'll drag we'll drag it out with the tractor and then what we'll do is we'll position this guy over here so we'll take it position it and what we'll do is we'll scoot uh, go, i gotta go ahead and take this bar off also and we'll be able to scoot it in pretty good ways and then reposition the straps over the bar and then finish moving it okay that's 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 kind of our plan that's what we're going to try and i'm a one man uh, show right now still so uh we're going to do this we're going to do it so uh i gotta find wd-40 i gotta find some uh nuts i think these are three quarter maybe i believe if i remember right but uh we'll get busy put you up here for now until i go until i'm ready to i just gotta get a couple of things No WD-40, so no lube. Uh, well, well, it is what it is.
So I took some, should take the scrap bar off. Okay. Yeah. I need my hammer. Oops. Another net. And another net. I didn't see no weld beads on there, so. Okay, that one's off. Had a uh, lock washers on there. Okay. So, got it off, it's hanging by the straps, and uh, so now what we can do, we can go and drop it down, and uh, I think it would be nice to have another hand around here, but I think i got a wood block I can put right there to block this, drop it straight down, move this strap over here, come around underneath, and that way I can just pick it up and slide it out. So that might work. But now I gotta move everything. Um I'm gonna move my truck. Because I need to come in this way. Uh, once I drop it, that way I can just pull out this way with pull out this way with the strap. So I need to come in straight. So that way when I pull it out, it goes straight this way. So I'm gonna pick up everything real quick. And uh then we'll come back. All right, so I put, put my little wireless mic back on. And uh, got the truck out of the way. We got most stuff out of the way. So uh, I think this probably needs to move a little bit, maybe. Like that. Yep. And uh, yeah, we can get that off. I put a block underneath there, by the way, to grab that guy. I didn't block the other one because it fell back on the scraper. So let's go ahead and lower it and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the brake off just in case I need to move. For some reason so we're lowering it down straps are loose look at that piece of cake and ice cream right there buddy Woo. oh break back on please okay we're going to take the straps off and uh we're going to reposition them a little bit how's that let me get some tea I'm out of teeth. That's not good. Okay. So I just found a problem. So I need to drop. I want to drop the. Uh, the mud scraper plate. Because uh, this bar on the end is going to be in the way if I don't. Now I got this one loose. So let me. Let me grab the tools. 
Actually, I probably don't need the long one for this. Oh, -ho. steel toe boots. Awesome. And this one ain't gonna do very good because I don't have a disc on this outside. So that's not good. So we're gonna have to make sure we pick up straight. I mean, I can drag it with the other one, that's not a problem. Now it'd be a good time to cross your fingers. Okay, so we got the rear one up. By golly, look at that, look at that. Yeah, 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 we got it off, sort of. So now we gotta figure out where to put this guy at. I kinda got a mess over here right now. Where my other disc I just bought. Over here, right now, is I want the disc concave in. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, but if I do that, right now as it is, the scrapers are going to be on the front. Okay. Now look back here how they're mounted. They're actually welded on. The only way to get them to the rear is to turn the whole gang around, but I don't want that. So, what I need to do, yeah, it won't work that way. Uh, <clears throat> I don't want to take it apart either. That'd be a mess. So I think what I'm gonna do is I plan on getting another gang anyway now. My wife told me to go ahead and do it too, by the way. So I'm not going to get in trouble. And I'm going to get one that actually has the setup properly for this side. Put this one on that side. Yeah. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. So then, what we got to do is I'm going to take this one apart, take the disc off. And I need to replace this one down here sometime. This broke. But the bearings are good on this one, so that's good. On this one, the bearings are out. Right here. So this bearing is shot. Okay. So you see this guy. Let me go over here where the sun's not. I'm not blocking the sun, making a shadow. So this bearing was completely out. Um, so that's the problem right here. And of course, you know, other, you know, broken discs and stuff too, right? But we'll fix that. We'll take this one apart. I'll probably take this one apart before I actually take that one off. Take that one apart. So I can still use it like it is. Um, but I got enough good disc on here to take off here and to fix this one. Right? And probably do this one too. The only problem with this one is that somebody welded it. Burke Halter. Why? <laughs> so I gotta cut that. That's welded on. I'm gonna have to cut it out and drop it when we get ready to do that. Because I can't really can't 
Can't replace them until we do that. I got one here that's totally missing. That's the only one I think it's really a major. Uh, that one there is all shredded up. Let's see right here. It hit something. Um, anyway, let's just get another one in the front.